Here I am, 50 years old, 35 years in the entertainment business, debts going back to the 70s, like a mouse on a treadmill. Just work and more work. My God, I've come through a lot. Well, I put this memorial up for Diana. Her favorite color was purple. So I surround her with purple, her favorite color, all year round. The reason I'm changing it right now is because the deer come and eat it. She was the only female friend uh, that I ever had in my life. I have never been one of the lads. I don't enjoy male company. Or anymore. I don't know what a male friend's like. I guess whatever you have in a male friendship, that's what I had with Diana. Good old buddies, you know, good friends. But I like this. This is, well, <laughs> there's my boys out there. It almost seems like being a traitor to be <laughs> buried in America anymore. I don't care what my accent is. I spent my whole life in Britain. So if that's the case, it'll be right there if the preacher will sell it to me. Right under that tree, facing Diane Allen. So we can picnic and boogie all the time. Peace and quiet and an open air. Wait for us somewhere. It says, since I stopped drinking, it looks like I'm going to live forever. But that's where it'll be. I wouldn't have any other place. I remember once saying in the kitchen when she was making this apple pie, her favorite um, dessert, you know, the homey sort of Sunday lunch thing. I don't know, Billy, she said, I seem to have gone from a, a gambler to an alcoholic. But, you know, she kind of liked the wild side, I think, of, of, of that, you know. Well, she was in love with Alan. The only thing that bothered Diana about Alan was his drinking and his dependence on being around her 24 hours a day kept him from going to work. He would go to work if she would go to work with him and sit there on the set with him and everything, but he would not go to work. He was a fine actor, but he wouldn't go to work. And Diana was not a millionaires. She went bankrupt the same year I did, 1968. There are about three people I've ever met in my life who have an aura, a definite aura, and who, when they walk into the room, the lights go out or something. You know, they just have this magnetism. Dawes was one of them. Joan is still one of them. And the other was Sammy Davis Jr. When they came into a room, it became electrified. They are from somewhere else, you know. They, they are... They're extraordinary human beings. Another meal for the deer. 